Well, ladies and gentlemen, what this is, this is actually a review um, going back to the beginning of the year. And if you guys remember, oops, let's write an X here. If you guys remember at the beginning of the year, um, we did solving equations. And really solving equations was fairly basic, I believe, for a majority of you until we started introducing <laughs> fractions. So once we got into fractions, though, a lot of you are like, oh, God, I don't know how to do fractions. I hate fractions. They just you know, make the world and life so much difficult, so, more dif so much more difficult. So what we did is when we had problems like this at the beginning of the quarter, what I said was don't so much worry about dealing with fractions, but just eliminate the fractions. Get rid of the elimination of the fractions. So to do that, what we did is we multiplied by our LCD. So when you look up here, you can determine, you can see I have three different denominators, 4, 3, and 6. And the LCD is going to be what we call the least common denominator, the smallest number that all of our denominators evenly divide into. So if you guys look at this, our least common denominator of 3, 4, and 6, Tyler, is going to be? 12. What would be the least common denominator? Exactly. Thank you very much. Case in point. So what we do is we take 12 and we multiply our least common denominator times every single one of our terms. Does anybody remember this in any regard? Okay. So now what we do is once we have, once we multiply our LCD by everything, again, since we've multiplied it by every term on the left side and the right side, we multiply every term, we're not changing the equation. We're just producing what we call an equivalent equation. But what's nice about the least common denominator is all of my denominators evenly divide into 12. So I can simplify that with every single denominator. So 12 over 4 simplifies to 3 over 1. 12 over 3 divides to 4 over 1. 12 over 6 divides to 2 over 1. Now, when we go ahead and solve, I have 3x um, plus 4, and then times 2 is going to be 8, equals 5 times 2, which is 10. So I reduced. Okay. But there was originally a 2 here. I have 12 over 3, which are 12 over 3 reduces to 4 over 1. 4 times 2 gives you 8. That 2 is still there. If you want to do it this way, do it this way. 12 times 2 is what? 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8. It's the same thing. Okay. And then this one, I did 12 over 6, which is divides to 2 over 1, Danielle. And then 2 times 5 gives you 10. So now, by eliminating our fractions, do you guys see how much easier this is now to solve? Yeah. Yeah. So now you just subtract the 8. So in this case, x is going to equal 2 thirds. Okay. 